Sally here and today I am going to be making a paper clip for my planner with my word of the year for 2023 and this year I am choosing the word worthy and so I want to have these crowns and the word worthy and then this banner so I'm going to have it be a side loading paper clip so I think first thing I'm going to use this banner and I'm going to put it in the paper clip with the, the open end at the top and then I'm going to slide it through right here like this. And I've cut all these things out on my Cricut and I made a score mark. Let's see how good this works. I just got the scoring wheel for my maker. Let's see if that works better than that stylus. The stylus, it worked, but it was very faint. Okay. All right. So that will look good. And so let's use some, let me slide these pieces out of the way for a second. And got some E6000. Whoop. Let's glue the paper clip in. that you're supposed to wait for two minutes before adhering things and you're supposed to put it on both sides but I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just going to use my um, Tombow Mono Aqua to glue the paper together. Let's get those corners a little bit better. There we go. So let's pull that paper clip up sure that these are lined up good. Oh, wait. Let's see. I've got this. I want it to load from the right. So yeah, that'll work. Okay. Okay, let's get that drying. And now let's put our jewels on our crowns. I'm gonna, um, they're gonna be hanging over. So I wanted one on the front and one on the back. I don't think you'll see the back really, but I figured that since they're hanging over that could add some sturdiness to it so it's got the bigger one in the middle for the middle and uh, maybe I better dry fit it to make sure of where exactly this is gonna go if it goes like that or like that Anyway, I think the longer part should go to the bottom, like that. So I think I'll put the glue where I want the gem, rather than try to put glue on this teeny tiny little thing. There we go. And then there's these smaller ones for the sides. Okay, I'm not real worried about them being perfect. I think that will look good. Oops, I'm trying to put the wrong lid on. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this one and be right back. All right, now while these are drying, I'm going to glue my word together. I cut this out three times and I'm gonna glue them together to make them more sturdy. 
And again, they're going to hang off the banner a little bit. Um, I'm going to try this matte gel medium. Um, I'm worried about the stability of them. So let me see. Give this, I'll try this paintbrush. Um, so I'm hoping this will make them more sturdy. And I'm just gonna paint this on like this. I have no idea how this will work. And then put the next one on top. Lining them up as best as I can. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna have to pick this up. Whoa. Okay. So I'm just kind of squeezing it together gently to get them lined up. Okay, got that one. Let's glue the other one on. And then I think I want to maybe coat this on top. To maybe give it a little more stability. that aside to dry and now I'll do the same thing to my double use. They might be a little bit more challenging but we'll do our best. Yeah, I just hold it to begin with. It might be easier. I'm gonna let, well, actually, well, maybe not. I was gonna put some on the crown too, but that might ruin the shininess of the metallic cardstock. So I'm gonna let these things dry and then I'll come back and glue it all on the paper clip. All right, these fill dry enough for me and, um, I wish I'd done a, looked closer at some of these. They aren't lined up the best, but that's, it will do. Okay, so I'm going to use the Distress Collage Medium over these. I'm going to put my crowns on first. glue on there. I want it pretty near the top. Okay, Ooh, when Tim Holt says that has a drying time of now, he ain't kidding. No wiggle room for this. So I better be very careful when I put on the back one so that the edges line up properly. Maybe 
I'll start with the edge here and here. Okay. Okay, so this is going to have to hang off the edge quite a bit. I didn't realize how much when I was designing it. Hopefully it will hold up for a while at least. any on the Y till I see and if I curve it more oh stick into my fingers okay I think if I just put it in the middle Tips don't want to stick. Let's put a little more on. Now I'd like, I'd like to put some over the top of the words and probably over the top of these. Um, Let's see. Maybe this tiny, tiny brush. I would like some over the top of these gems. I'm not quite sure what it will do to the look of the shiny cardstock and the glitter cardstock. Just afraid they're going to fall off. Let's put some over the top of my word as well. Probably should have put like a cut out a like a backing piece that was all one piece behind it that might help but I like the look of this hanging off with nothing behind it so we'll just uh, give that a try and when it's dry, I'll come back and show you what it looks like in my planner. All right, I think we are dry enough now to try it in my planner. So 
So this is the calendar that I use to pay my bills. So I just want it to keep track of where I am in the year. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. So I think it'll be mostly covered up. Let's see, I've got this I think I'll just reuse. So let's see. Yeah, I think mostly that will be contained within, you know, it'll be covered mostly. So I like how it turned out. I think that will be very pretty to look at when I pay my bills. So that does it. Thanks for watching. Bye.